Hello, uh, this is a follow-up to a previous video uh, when I measured these two cheap Chinese replacement batteries for Canon camcorders and digital cameras. Uh, I also measured this genuine uh, stock Canon battery for reference. So the result was that these guys are claimed to have 1800 milliamp hours but I measured uh, one uh, 600 milliamp hours, another 650 or something like that, uh, which is roughly speaking one third of claimed capacity. So I, I bought one, uh, it was pretty cheap, uh, about seven dollars or so. Uh, so I measured that, uh, I was not happy, I complained. Uh, they sent me a replacement, I measured that one. Uh, I also complained uh, and uh, they just refunded my money. So I ended up with two free batteries uh, but they don't solve my problem. Uh, I wanted to run my camcorder for about two hours with no interruptions. So these batteries can only run this guy uh, for about an hour and a half. So I bought another one, which I didn't unpack yet. Uh, and it's, it is supposed to be 850 milliamp hours. Let's have a look. Here it is. Um, bat batteryheads.com tech fuel made in china uh, let me unpack this thing let's have a closer look so this one is supposed to be 850 milliamp hours and I believe it should run my camcorder for slightly more than two hours, if this is true. So let's charge it up and measure it. Look at this. Uh, I started to suspect that something is wrong after about three hours of charging yesterday. But it was getting late. I left it overnight. And in the morning it is still blinking away. I think something is wrong. Back to Canon camera with external lapel mic. The other camera doesn't have a jack for external microphones. So uh, here it is after charging overnight. Let's check the voltage. Seven point six three. So lithium-ion batteries have a nominal voltage, so-called, of three point seven volts per one cell. This battery has two cells, so the nominal voltage is seven point four, and the charger brings this up to four point two per cell, which is eight point four in this case of two cells. And uh, I've seen roughly that with other batteries uh, we tested in the previous video. Uh, it was 8.3 something, uh, which is all right. But here, after charging overnight and tested right after I took it from the charger, it is still 7.63. So I think something is is wrong. So let me try to discharge it anyway. It's hooked up. Uh, here is the electronic load. So we read seven point six one here. 
and let's set it to 400 milliamps and let me check the minimum input volts it's still set to 5 volts from the previous experiment fine uh, let me start the data logging alright data logging started let's turn it on here is data logging going on it's been just a couple minutes or so and the voltage is already down to 7.2 well, let's check later. Okay, uh, the discharging cycle has finished and I loaded the data. Look at that. Uh, about 52, 52, 53 minutes or so. Well, clearly this is much lower than 850 milliamp hours. So, I'll try to charge it again. Well, I don't know why, but second charging I finished successfully after some couple hours or so. It stopped blinking just fine, so let's test it. Okay, let's check the voltage first. Eight thirty-three. Okay, this time it looks perfectly normal. I don't know what happened the first time it it was charging. The charging didn't finish properly. Okay, so it looks fine this time. Let's give it a try. Okay, hooked up again. Uh, let's give it a try. Okay, data login started. Let's turn the load on. Here is data login going on. Let's check later. Okay, so the second discharge cycle finished. And look at this. Uh, this time it's certainly better. But anyway, 77 minutes, uh, way less than expected. And a little bit of calculation, 400 milliamps, 77 minutes, that translates to about 513 milliamp hours. And this thing was promised to have 850 milliamp hours. So, I am disappointed so far. Uh, I'll probably try one more time just to make sure there is some effect that it's getting stronger after a few cycles or something like that. So, here we are. I run this experiment again. Uh, fully charged, fully discharged at 400 milliamps. And what do I see? Well, have a look. Exactly the same. 77 minutes. So, as we calculated before, that's about 513 milliamp hours. Ah, well, I am disappointed again. Well, there's probably a little bit of a progress. Uh, these first two batteries I tested they were slightly more than one third of rated capacity. This second one uh, is slightly more expensive and slightly more than one half of rated capacity. I wonder how much higher should I go with the price to get something which is close to rated capacity. Hey, go figure. Uh, anyway, I'll talk to the seller and see what happens and if you find this useful give it a thumbs up thank you very much bye